If science fiction has taught us anything, it's that we should be terrified of black holes. But as you know, these matter-eating monstrosities are not just confined to stories. They are real, and they are out there in the darkness of space. They destroy and devour anything that gets too close to them. And what if we were to tell you that a supermassive black hole might be headed in Earth's direction right now as we speak? Yes, we said supermassive. So, what makes a black hole the supermassive variety? Well, you better open your minds for this one, because their size can boggle the imagination. Normal black holes, or stellar mass black holes, form from the collapse of massive stars as their life comes to an end. Every galaxy is full of them, scattered from top to bottom. But supermassive black holes are found only at the very center of a galaxy. While a regular black hole has a mass a few times that of our Sun, a supermassive can have a mass a million times or more than that of our Sun. While a stellar mass has a gravitational influence of just its immediate surroundings, a supermassive is wide-reaching, stretching across the entire galaxy it rests in. The supermassive black hole that looks set to threaten our world is estimated to be more than 4.1 million times the mass of the Sun and a billion miles wide. Should it come up against Earth, our tiny little planet doesn't even stand a chance. There is no David versus Goliath situation. This is more like David versus 10 billion Goliaths at once. Earth will either be consumed whole or torn apart in pieces as it's pulled inside the unknown. Terrifyingly, the apocalyptic meeting of our planet and this black hole is far more than theory. It's a fact. The black hole is situated around 26,000 light years away and is presently tearing through entire stars and star systems, annihilating and or consuming everything in its path. And we are on the menu. It's racing towards the Earth at a speed of 186.4 miles per second. But it's not just a supermassive black hole that's careening towards us. This hungry monstrosity is bringing a galaxy with it. Yes, it's the Andromeda Galaxy, which is just 2.37 million light years away. Both the Milky Way and Andromeda Galaxies, like every galaxy, have a supermassive black hole located at their centers. This pair of galaxies is presently on a collision course with each other. Interacting galaxies or colliding galaxies refer to two galaxies whose gravitational fields result in a disturbance of one another. Simply put, these colossal forces are pulling at each other in a gargantuan game of a cosmic tug-of-war. The end result is inevitable, as foreseen by physicist after physicist. The Andromeda Galaxy and the Milky Way Galaxy are scheduled to smash together and the fireworks and cataclysm will be incredible. Figuring out the inevitability of this impending galactic disaster began way back in the early 1900s. Astronomer Vesto Slipher measured the radial velocity of Andromeda, hoping to determine how fast Andromeda may be moving toward or away from the Earth. Not only did he figure out that hair-raising speed we previously mentioned, but also the fact it was heading right in our direction. For the sake of understanding, it's also worth noting he incorrectly referred to Andromeda as a nebula, but that was because of the limited understanding at the time. Back then, they thought Andromeda was merely a part of the Milky Way. It was actually this very calculation by Slipher that initiated a brand new train of thought that led to astronomers to deduce that Andromeda was no mere nebula, but a galaxy all its own. In the decades that followed, scientists understood that Andromeda and its black hole were heading towards us, though it was not yet clear a direct collision was, to put it poetically, literally written in the stars. That's because there was a key piece of knowledge missing, Andromeda's sideways motion. It is surprisingly easy to measure the velocity of faraway objects, but it is much harder to determine their sideways motion the impending collision was simulated several times over the decades, but without knowing Andromeda's sideways motion, it was hard to ascertain collision certainty. There was a chance it would, and there was also a chance it would drift on past us. 
But in 2012, astronomers based at the Space Telescope Science Institute redid the prediction calculations using new data that had been collected by the Hubble Space Telescope over the course of the prior 10 years. This new data allowed them to determine Andromeda's sideways motion. With that vital piece of information, it became clear that the collision of the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies was not just one of a few possibilities. It was the only outcome. Such collisions are terrifyingly common. Andromeda is believed to have collided with at least one other galaxy sometime in the distant past, if not many more. With two galaxies about to bump heads, the collateral damage will be colossal. The supermassive black holes at the center of each will find themselves dangerously close, and the gravitational chaos that ensues will quite possibly tear up every planet in our solar system and more. For the longest time, the common consensus was that Andromeda was two to three times larger than that of the Milky Way, meaning we were most certainly doomed. The bigger fish always wins, after all. But there may just be a sliver of hope. More recent studies suggest that the two galaxies might actually be closer in size than initially believed. In such a clash, it's not actually the case that one or both of the galaxies will be destroyed. As the two galaxies crash into each other, they may actually fuse into one giant galaxy, something known as the elliptical galaxy. This is a process called dynamical friction. As part of this process, the two black holes may converge into one. But that's something that may take millions of years. In the meantime, there will still be a rival black hole sucking at our galaxy, eating up everything it can, including us. And it's not just the planets that will suffer. Experts have grim predictions for the future of the Sun. One theory suggests the Sun will be pulled into the center of the all-new galaxy, only to be forcefully ejected. Another hypothesis states that the Sun will tip too much toward one of the black holes, and will be subsequently ripped to shreds, like wet cardboard. Other stars may be safe during the initial crash. The stars across both galaxies look to be too far apart to collide, but they won't exactly survive the collision unscathed. With two supermassive black holes getting that close to one another, gravitational chaos will ensue, and every star in both Andromeda and the Milky Way will be thrown into different orbits around the newly formed galactic center. Once those black holes meet, once those galaxies merge, whatever is left at the end of the process will be unrecognizable from the galaxy we now know. It will be a home renovation project unlike any other. It may all sound fantastical, but supermassive black holes have crashed together before. The Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory Lab, or LIGO, even managed to record the sound of one such incident. LIGO is a large-scale observatory dedicated to detecting gravitational waves. Construction began in 1994 and took eight years to complete. Since then, the team has been working tirelessly, and a lot of what we know about supermassive black holes comes from their good work. Prior to 2014, we had never detected a gravitational wave. As of December 2016, LIGO had spotted a total of 12 gravitational signatures of enormous objects smashing together. On September 14, 2015, the LIGO team observed particularly colossal gravitational waves and deduced it was the result of the merge of two black holes, each one 30 times the mass of our Sun. The resulting collision lasted a mere fractions of a second, yet in that briefest of moments, unleashed 50 times more energy than all of the stars in the observable universe. The gravitational waves were recorded by LIGO and converted into these peculiar sound waves. Take a listen. Scientists call these sounds chirps because of their similarity to the innocuous chirping of a bird. What you just listened to was both the death of two black holes and the birth of another larger new black hole. When this happens to the black holes at the core of Andromeda, and the Milky Way. There is no way to know for sure what will happen to every planet and star across both galaxies. But the poor little Earth, being sucked into Andromeda's black hole and being reduced to nothing in the time it takes to blink, is very real and a terrifying possibility. There is also another black hole theory. 
It's more hypothetical than the merge of the Milky Way and Andromeda, but no less amazing. One rogue scientist has claimed that our entire universe may already be inside a black hole. Of the more scientific hypotheses regarding universal creation, the Big Bang theory remains the most accepted, but there is another, one that states that the universe came into existence when a black hole opened up a parallel universe. That theory audaciously claims each black hole is a gateway to yet another dimension. There are three different ways in which a black hole can form, but the gist of all three is that colossal amounts of mass located in one spot rips a hole in the fabric of space-time. This has led to a few theoretical physicists suggesting that the Big Bang was actually a black hole opening up in a parallel dimension, thus allowing the matter which had been sucked through the portal to create our very own portal or black hole. The matter that has been cascading through the last 13.8 billion years might just explain why the universe is ever expanding. If this theory is valid, the Earth would technically already be in a black hole because our entire universe would be on the other side of a black hole of another universe. So, if during the Milky Way Andromeda clash, Earth is to be gobbled up by the Andromeda black hole, would we find ourselves inside a black hole inside another black hole? The most cosmic of the Matryoshka dolls. We certainly don't want to scare anyone, and this is where you get the good news. Fortunately, the Milky Way Andromeda collision is predicted to happen 4 billion years from now, meaning the Earth is in no imminent danger of being ripped apart by a black hole anytime soon or in our lifetimes. But time is fleeting, and before you know it, our descendants will be frantically trying to relocate. In the inevitable collide, do you think Earth will merely find a new place in the resulting elliptical galaxy? Or will it be eaten by one of the warring black holes? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when a new video arrives. Thanks for watching.